Good evening my friends, this is Paul, and today I'm going to be reviewing to you the Tetris 99 Big Block DLC for the Nintendo Switch. What other system do I review nowadays anyway? So this is basically a way for people without online to be able to play Tetris in its purest form because Nintendo removed the original version from the eShop due to the license expiring. Now, I can get why they did that, but on the other hand, don't you think they could, you know, take it back? No, sorry, but they got a push for Nintendo Switch Online, and Nintendo Switch is going to be everything, and the 3DS and Wii U can just go ahead and eat the dust. Besides all that, for $10, you are able to get an offline mode in Tetris. Yay! Paying money for something that's been free since the Game Boy... You are a genius, Nintendo. An absolute genius. Okay, jokes aside. Basically what this does is it allows you to play the Battle Royale mode on Tetris without actually doing it with 99 other people. You can do it with CPU opponents, and you can even set their difficulty, so if you're not that great at Tetris, you don't have to feel like they're all pressuring up on you, and you can practice your skills. There is... Still no practice mode or an instruction manual, but I guess this is a step in the right direction. Who knows, maybe they'll add DLC later that gives them an instruction manual. Wouldn't that be cool? You also get the ability to play marathon mode, which, again, has been around since Tetris for the Game Boy, where you try to clear as many lines as you can in a time limit, with the blocks dropping increasingly faster... I'm starting to wonder why I picked this up at all, when I could have just done it in Puyo Puyo Tetris. I guess I like reviewing things for you guys too much. Anyway, this basically gives you the opportunity to play Tetris 99 offline and without paying for the Nintendo Switch Online. So, if this is going to be more of a thorn in Nintendo's side to get them to possibly improve their online service because more people end up playing Tetris 99 offline than online, which was the original intent? Go for it! Otherwise, just stick with Puyo Puyo Tetris. Unless you really like the Battle Royale mode, that's probably a lot cheaper. Probably you can get the physical version so you don't have to take up as much space on your Switch. And it has a story mode. And plenty of other modes, too. This is basically just Tetris. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything I missed, if you have any questions, concerns, oh my gosh, Paul, your sense of humor, anything you want. With that, keep the faith, stay epic, God bless, and don't play Tetris too long or you'll start seeing Tetris blocks in your sleep. Bye! Okay, time to save this video, give it a tuck. Oh, you're still here. Hi guys, uh, this is Paul. I just finished up my Tetris 99 review, and I just wanted to thank those of you that actually stuck around until the very end of this video instead of rage quitting. So congratulations. The very first person who comments on this, I will take their suggestion for a new video or a new live stream seriously like really seriously even if it means doing something i wouldn't normally do like if they say paul review pokemon red and gold oh boy anyway i will try as a reward to my loyal viewers and loyal subscribers so thank you very much for watching and until the next time keep the faith stay epic and god bless bye just don't ask me to do anything really stupid, like, say, review Doki Doki Literature Club, because that's super inappropriate. Bye for real.